Hello, I'm Claire Smith and welcome to my channel. So today is the video where I basically roast myself. So I did this video last year and I just go through my, my habits with my perfume consumption. I talk about how much I buy, how much I spend, how much I use up, how much I declutter and I just kind of set myself some goals for the next year. So I did this video last year and I found it really, really useful because it made me look at my own behaviours. It made me realise where I was going wrong. And I'm not saying that I've completely turned around my behaviours with, with fragrance buying at all. I definitely haven't. But it's something where I am trying to improve and I'm trying to see where I can make my collection of fragrances better through my behaviours. So when I filmed this video last year, I'd never seen anybody admit how much they're spending on fragrance on YouTube. And I still haven't seen anybody admit how much money per year they're spending on fragrance on YouTube. I do think people are more aware of people having gifted fragrances now on YouTube. And it is becoming a little bit better about people revealing things as gifted. I personally have never had a gifted fragrance from a company, so I don't need to worry about that. I buy every single fragrance myself. And so it's important for me to have a budget because I know that I am someone who could dramatically overspend if I let myself. I think YouTube presents a really warped sense of perfume consumerism and reality. I watch videos all the time where people will haul five, six, seven, eight, 10, 20 fragrances in one video. And I just find that very abnormal. That is not something that most people will do in their lifetimes. It's really quite unusual to buy that much fragrance. And really that's the kind of fragrance that you wouldn't use in several years, really, in most circumstances. Obviously the amount of fragrance that you buy is your own business and it's your own decision as to how much you are comfortable with. But really I think the problem comes for me when I buy so much fragrance that I can't fully enjoy the ones I've got. That I can't spend time getting to know my new fragrances before I buy more. That I am maybe even feeling guilty about the amount of fragrance that I've bought or I'm feeling like I will never use some of the fragrances that I've bought. Basically, what I'm saying is no one should get to a point with fragrance buying where they feel guilty over their purchases. And that's a point that I reached back in 2021. I bought so much fragrance that I felt guilty about it. And that's something that I really had to change. I just knew that I had to change how I was consuming fragrance. And that is really what I tried to do in 2022. But did I succeed? So just to sum up what my feelings were from last year, I ended up with a couple of resolutions. So I wanted to one, sample and try more brands. I wanted to two, buy fewer bottles and buy smaller bottles. Three, I wanted to use up more of my older bottles. And four, I wanted to be more cutthroat with my declutters. I didn't want to be using fragrances that I didn't enjoy. And five, I wanted to not set myself a budget. I wanted to perhaps buy fewer bottles but spend more on those fragrances. I wanted to get fragrances that I really, really wanted rather than fragrances that I just saw on deals. So how did I do in 2022? Did I achieve any of that? Did I make any difference to my perfume habits? And what are my aims for 2023? So first of all, did I sample more fragrances? Did I achieve that goal? Well, yes, I did sample more fragrances. And I'd like to say I'm really proud because I tried over 140 different fragrances through sampling in 2022. I recorded them all. So I'm really, really happy about that. And I also tried 55 new brands through sampling. So I'm really pleased by that as well. So I really feel like I've achieved with that goal. I think actually I wasn't someone who used to sample fragrances back in 2019, 2020. I think perfume sampling is actually really enjoyable. And I, in some ways, I would much rather sample 20 fragrances than buy a bottle of perfume. I just find it really interesting. And I think that really perfume sampling videos on YouTube are majorly underrepresented. And I would really love to do some sampling videos, but I never really know how to present them. So if anybody has a strong preference as to whether you present sampling videos by brand or by particular fragrance notes, then please let me know down below because I'd really like to do more sampling videos. So aim two, did I buy 
fewer bottles of perfume in 2022 compared with 2021 and I, did I buy smaller bottles of perfume in 2022? Well back in 2021 I bought 47 bottles of perfume and I remember being really really shocked at myself because that really is nearly one a week and how did I do in 2022? Well I'm sad to say that I did not really improve, in fact I got worse. So I bought 56 bottles of perfume in 2022 and that does not even include the bottles that I got as gifts from other people. So my husband bought me perfume, some people sent me perfume, other YouTubers sent me perfume, not companies. And I also won some perfumes in a competition. So actually a lot more perfume than 56 bottles came into my life than that. I do think throughout 2022, I have tended to buy smaller bottles of fragrance. So this year I've picked up far more 10 ml bottles of fragrance and even some 5 ml bottles of fragrance actually. Having said all this, if you look at this graph, you can see that most of my fragrance purchasing was in January and in November. And the January purchase was a huge bundle of fragrances that I bought because I wanted one particular fragrance in that bundle, which was a vintage bottle of Alien. So I think really I ended up either decluttering or using up a lot of those fragrances that I bought in January. And the purchases in November were mostly a fragrance sampler kit that just happened to contain larger volumes of fragrance. So instead of having small samples of fragrance, it had 10 ml bottles and there were eight of them, which is why my count went up so much in November. So yeah, not great. But there are some explanations and I am going to try and buy fewer bottles in 2023. So we'll see how that goes. I do think in November I went a little bit crazy as well because I just filmed a Perfume Empties video and I felt like that kind of gave me carte blanche to buy more fragrance. And I don't really know why I felt like that really because I just felt really proud of myself that I got to nearly 100 bottles again in my collection when I'd been really quite high um, with the amount of fragrance that I, that I had collected. And I don't really want my collection to go beyond about 100 bottles in general. I'm now around 115 bottles and I feel like it's too much. I feel like I can't get round all my fragrances and enjoy them all. And I don't see the point in having fragrances that I own, but I don't end up wearing. I just, I just don't see the point in that at all. So I think I am going to really consider very carefully any future purchases. And hopefully that will help my fragrance buying habits in 2023. So number three, what about using up bottles of fragrance? Well, in 2022, I used up a total of 25 fragrances. And I'm really, really happy about that. And that's because I had a lot that were on the cusp of being done and I had a lot of miniatures as well to use. And I'm really, really happy I got through that number of fragrances. And actually there were a few fragrances there that I really discovered that I really liked and a few that I really loved, but there were a few there that I didn't really enjoy. And I think that's another goal for 2023. I don't want to force myself to use fragrances that I don't particularly enjoy anymore. I want to just use fragrances that I love and I think I need to be a little bit more considered in what I actually pan and what I just declutter. Back in 2021, I'd used up 10 bottles of fragrance. So actually I'd used up quite significantly more bottles in 2022 than 2021. But I think that just was, you know, buying secondhand and also just having a load of bottles in my collection already that were really very close to being done. So in 2023, I'm really not sure I will use anywhere near close to 25 fragrances, but if I can use maybe five fragrances, I will be very, very happy um, and very satisfied with that. So um, I just want to keep the rotation of my fragrances going because I don't want fragrances to sit in my collection unused. I don't want fragrances to go off. So yeah, just I want to use some of my fragrances up. So goal four, was I more cutthroat with my decluttering than I was in 2021? Well, back in 2021, I ended up decluttering, I think, 10 fragrances from my collection. And this year I've ended up decluttering 17 fragrances from my collection. And actually, I think I could have decluttered more. I think I've hung on to a few fragrances that I just feel kind of emotionally attached to, but I don't really use. 
And I think I need to be a little bit more cutthroat in 2023. I need to just get rid of things rather than trying to use them up. I do think another declutter is due very soon. And I do think I will probably film one maybe even in January. My last declutter video was back in July. So it is quite a long time since I did any decluttering. I think with sniffing more fragrances this year, with trying more fragrances, with sampling more fragrances, I have just become more picky. I like a lot of fragrances, but I love very few fragrances. And I think really that is going to be reflected in my decluttering for the next year. I think also because I've kept a spreadsheet this year, it's going to be much easier for me to sort fragrances by usage number and for me to see just how many times I have or I haven't reached for a fragrance. And that's going to be really super useful when it comes to deciding what to declutter. So goal five was all around how much I spend on fragrance. I just wanted to monitor it. I wanted to know how much I'm spending on fragrance. And actually, I didn't mind if it went up. I Actually, last year, I didn't think I'd spent a lot on fragrance. And I wanted to actually buy better fragrances. I wanted to spend more per fragrance and get potentially a better quality of fragrance for spending that extra amount of money. So how much money did I spend on the fragrances that I bought this year? I spent £430.75 on fragrance this year. And the previous year I spent £496.03. So actually that means I've spent less this year and I'm really not sure how that's happened. Maybe it's through buying bundles, I'm really not sure. I am really amazed it is less because I have bought physically more bottles of perfume, but maybe I've bought smaller bottles of perfume. So £430 over a year works out at £8.28 per week. And I'm really not upset about that. I don't think that's a lot of money actually over the course of a year. And I'd be perfectly willing to spend more money on, on fragrance than I do. I don't think that that is really that much at all. Also, when you factor in that I've resold 18 bottles of fragrance. I've actually weirdly managed to make profit on those 18 bottles of perfumes overall of £129.96. So really the amount of money that I've spent on fragrance with that balance taken off is only £300.79 and that works out as £5.78 per week. So I really don't think that's a lot at all. You know, I don't think you can even probably buy two coffees a week for £5.78. So I really don't feel like I'm overspending on fragrance at all. So actually £5.78 per week, I have some really mixed emotions about because ultimately I want to buy fragrances that I truly love and truly want. And really by spending only £8.28 per week before any resale costs, I think that I am perhaps not buying the fragrances that I truly, truly want. And I want to change that in 2023. So I'm going to set myself some resolutions. So what do I want to achieve in 2023? Well, I think really my goals are pretty similar to what they were in 2022. And I just need to work on trying to achieve them. Number one, I want to try and maintain my level of sampling. I do have an awful lot of samples still to try. So I think that that will be achievable. I may not sample quite as many fragrances, but I hope that I will sample a good lot. I would like to sample over 100 fragrances this year. I think that's achievable. Two, I want to blind buy less. I think that's a major problem with my buying habits. I tend to just blind buy and I don't think that's a sensible way to buy fragrance. I also think that it means that you have a lower standard because you don't want to feel the guilt of blind buying something you hate. And so you get less picky. So I think by not blind buying, by planning my purchases, that will help me to achieve that goal. So I'm going to try and achieve this goal by writing a wish list. And I will try to film this at some point. It might be quite a fantasy wish list because I think the fragrances that I tend to like now are quite expensive and I probably won't ever be able to afford them, but I will write a wish list and hopefully that will help me to achieve that goal. Three, I want to declutter. I'm going to film a declutter in January or February and it will be more cutthroat. I will be basing my declutter 
on my usage from my spreadsheet, from my daily fra fragrance wearing and what it was and wasn't reaching for in 2022. And I think that will be really helpful to look at and to just go through my collection. You know, there are probably several fragrances that I think that I love, but if I'm not reaching for them, I need to put them on a chopping block and I need to decide whether I want them or not. Goal four is that I want to finish some fragrances this year. I don't think it's achievable to finish the 25 fragrances like I finished in 2022, but if I can finish off maybe five bottles of fragrance, I'd be really, really happy. I just basically don't want my fragrance collection to stagnate and I don't have a lot of room for my fragrances. So I feel like if I don't use some up, then I won't have room for new fragrances. I also don't want any of my fragrances to go off and I do have some bottles with not very much in. So I think, yeah, trying to target those bottles where there isn't much left would be probably a good thing. My final aim, aim five, is that I want to spend time enjoying what I have. I don't want to be constantly buying fragrance this year. I want to spend time enjoying every purchase, getting to know every single one of my fragrances, making sure that I'm wearing every single one of my fragrances and that I know every single one of my fragrances. This is the thing with YouTube. It's really easy to haul so many fragrances, but do you know those fragrances? How useful are you to other people how usefully can you talk about those fragrances if you've worn them once or twice? It's pointless. Logically speaking, if I've bought 65 bottles of fragrance this year, I can't have spent very long wearing each one of them, can I? And I want to change that. I want to change the amount of time I spend getting to know fragrances. And this is why I've not spoken about them on YouTube yet, some of these purchases, because I don't want to make a judgment on a fragrance that I don't truly know. I only want to talk about fragrances that I've tried a number of times that I can really genuinely tell you how I feel about that fragrance. And I can't do that if I'm constantly buying fragrances and constantly moving on all the time. So those are my five goals for this year. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed the video, then please press the like button and please also consider subscribing if you haven't done already. And please let me know what are your perfume resolutions for this year. I would absolutely love to hear if you want to try a particular brand or whether you want to reduce your perfume collection size, either by decluttering or by using up fragrances or just by buying fewer fragrances in the future. Maybe you're still growing your collection. Maybe you'll want to buy more fragrances. Maybe you have a wish list. Please let me know down below and please let me know what you think of my perfume resolutions. Am I being too hard on myself? Do you think I need to put my focus on one particular goal? So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.